It was a really, really warm day. It was one of the warmest days we've had yet this year. Zeus was so exhausted that Dad had to carry him to the car. But, you know, it's just, it's never too hot outside to make some art. Um, I wanted to experiment a little bit with some Yupo paper. Um, I've had it for a little bit and I haven't really known what to do with it, so figured I would just start experimenting. Got out my, my watercolors and just made some little shapes and honestly just sat here and played with watercolors and some, some, uh, some alcohol uh, and let the chemical reactions do their thing and make all these crazy shapes and Yeah, I could do this stuff for hours, and I did. Maybe it was one hour, I don't know. I didn't really count, but yeah. I have I have lots of fun just making shapes on, on things, like circles. Circles. I do like circles. And uh, so I made some, I made some circles. And, um, uh, I cut them out. I cut out the circles. And I placed them like so. Like so right here. And then, and then I, I, I'm subscribed to Time Magazine. Um, I think because it was like, seven dollars or something for the whole year and I don't know I mean that's kind of like free magazines or something to me that's that's a pretty good deal so uh I found this this picture of a church and I cut out all the little shapes around it rather like the space around it and made shapes out of that space and pasted them down and then I cut out the church I wasn't sure if I was going to draw the church or if I was going to paste it on there but I decided I would be adventurous and you know maybe start with tracing its outline because uh, I, I just couldn't get the the lines right at first so I cheated a little but uh, you know what the rest of it I did by myself so uh, I think I got an A for effort, at least, a little bit. Um, got my trusty, trusty, trusty isograph pen and my trusty, um, what kind of pencil is this? It's a mechanical pencil. Um, I've seen it around, actually, quite, quite a lot. Uh, I found it online in, like, 2014 or something, and, uh, yeah, it's my favorite pencil. I have several. Just just in case that pencil ever gets lost, I will have a backup. Cuz cuz I don't even know what I would do if I uh, if, if I didn't have that pencil in my life. It's my favorite. I just don't know what I would do. Um so I kind of added some texture to the roof here with with white with with ink and um I wasn't really sure how this was turning out at first uh cuz you can't really shade I mean no I don't want to say it. I don't want to say that you can't shade with a pen cuz you can to some extent you can with stippling and you can with cross hatching and stuff like that um but I'm, I don't know, I'm not really a crosshatcher. Maybe, maybe in the future I will be, but right now it doesn't really make sense to my brain. So I just don't do it. But I do stipple quite a bit, as you will see later in this video. But, uh, I don't know, these lines were really, really kind of tedious to draw, because I have a hard time sometimes with straight lines. Um... 
I don't know. My my hand just like convulses and does something against my will, and and then suddenly I have a line that just doesn't. It's not linear. It's I mean it's it's a line, but it's not the kind of line I want. I do, however, really, really, really like circles. Circles are definitely my favorite shape. I mean, hands down. Circles do it for me. Uh, so I, I did a lot of them. I did a lot of them for these little circles, these other circles that I drew. Uh, this was a process. I actually took these little circles around with me and just doodled on them when I could at work. They took a while because Yupo, it's kind of like drawing on scotch tape with a pen. So these took forever. Uh, I would have to do one side of them and then let that dry and then pick it up and cover it so I didn't get fingerprints on it and, and, then, and then do the other side, you know, maybe the next day or something. But, uh, they looked really cool when they were done, I must say. They, uh, yeah. They, they were like, I don't know, they kind of looked like something that <clears throat> you'd want to, like, put a pen through and, and hang, hang, like, like little planets in your bedroom, above your bed. <laughs> little planets. So, this drawing took, took a few weeks of, of sitting here. I've also been kind of lazy lately. I don't know what my problem has been. I, uh, just haven't been drawing the, the amount that I want to. And, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, life happens. It's not, it's not that I was avoiding drawing. I just, I don't know. There's just so many hours in a day. I wish that there were more. I often, often wish, and speak out loud that I really wish that there were more hours in a day. But there just aren't. So we have to make, we have to make do with what we have, okay? It's just the way it's gonna be. But yeah, this took me about a week and a half, two weeks, of, of setting it down and coming back to it, and I had a couple of papers for class to do between then and, and you know. I kept busy. I wasn't just sitting here looking at, at cat videos or anything like that. Even though I'm probably, I'm sure I probably watched some cat videos in the last couple of weeks. Okay, I'm, I'm not perfect. You might hear uh, a little squeak in the background and uh, some of you are probably very familiar with the noise. It's my dog playing playing with his squeaker bone as he does and you know uh, I'm just gonna let him it's it's gonna be in the background in my audio and yeah exactly and I just there's nothing I can do about it okay I'm not gonna tell the dog to to stop doing what makes him happy I'm just gonna just gonna let it happen yep Exactly. So, I started getting the idea that, I don't know, that this church was kind of creepy in some way. So, I figured with these little circles and little circles inside of those circles, I would uh, make, like, you know how, like, when you, when you take a picture and you get those little, like, lens flare things, maybe it's dust or something. I knew a guy once that thought they were spirits, and, uh, I don't know, this kind of reminded me of that. These little spirits, actually, <laughs> compared to the size of the church, I guess they're pretty big spirits, but, I don't know, I, I kind of liked the the gist of, of a creepy church happening here, because churches, uh, churches can be kind of creepy. Man, like, they totally can be. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's that I'm I'm not really religious, so I don't really associate church with like all these fuzzy, warm childhood feelings of Sunday school and 
I don't know. I mean, I went to Sunday school and it wasn't terrible when I was a kid, but, um, I don't know. Churches and religious things kind of, kind of creep me out a little. And, and I don't know. I mean, it's, it's not like that hasn't been a topic of conversation, you know, religion and stuff recently. So I don't know. I, I guess it just kind of manifested itself in my, in my work and, Gosh, I love to stipple. Golly, I love it. I love stippling. It is the most therapeutic thing and and rewarding like style of of drawing. I love it. I love stippling. Don't don't anybody don't let anybody tell you that I don't like to stipple, okay? Because I mean, let me at them. If they, if they tell you that, if they go telling you lies about how I don't like to stipple things, then please, please give me a call. I will set the facts straight. Okay? All right. Perfect. I'm glad we had this conversation. So, yeah. Uh, and I'm glad that that you came by and I was able to draw this for you and and for me and for anybody I don't know thanks for watching have a good day goodbye